The RHS collections held at all our libraries contain over 100,000 books, 30,000 botanical artworks, a huge number of archive papers relating to the history of the RHS, but also some of the greatest gardeners and garden designers, tens of thousands of photographs, and a vast array of magazines and papers. The RHS started collecting books from about 1806, but over the years we've grown and burgeoned to become one of the world leading horticultural collections with over two and a half thousand rare books. And it's a multifaceted treasure trove of books that help us to tell the story of gardening for over 500 years. That really is something for everybody, that if you scratch the surface, you will find something that will pique your interest, whether you're a gardener, whether you're a book historian, or whether you're just interested in seeing what we've got. In terms of highlights, we can tick off some of the big names, obviously Capability Brown, Gertrude Jekyll, Charles Darwin. But I think some of the real highlights for me are where you can lift the bonnet of how gardening changed over the centuries in Britain and how ordinary gardeners shaped the gardens we know and love today. There are so many wonderful things in the collection, it's hard to choose just one. But some of my favourite things are the Carte Visite collection, which is a collection of about 900 photographs of botanists and horticulturalists and gardeners. Um, I also really like the Book of Ferns of New Zealand. It's a really beautiful book of cyanotypes and there are only about 15 of them known in the world. The thing that makes us unique is our laser-like focus on gardening, but we are really interested in the whole business of gardening and everything to do with gardens and garden plants and gardeners. Some of the most important artists in the history of botanical art are represented in our collections. Many of these paintings are examples of plants that are no longer in cultivation, and they act as a documentation and a record of some of these plants that we can no longer see today. Lots of us, if we look back in our families, will find a gardener hidden in our family tree, and our collections can tell you about your ancestors' lifestyle, their gardening achievements, the things they grew and loved. This interaction between people and plants has shaped our gardens and indeed our homes, our possessions and our medicine cabinets as they are today. The archive documents aspects of all of this and gives us a window into the lives of people who dedicated their time and energy to horticulture and whose lives were shaped by their love of plants. Anyone can register to become a researcher and visit Lindley Library in London, Wisley Garden Library at Wisley and the Harlow Carr Garden Library in Yorkshire. And we also have exhibitions at various RHS sites and other sites. Go to RHS Digital Collections to see beautiful images from our art, archival, photographic and rare book collections. Go to RHS Heritage Catalogue to search all our Heritage Catalogue records and find what we have in our amazing collection. Go to RHS Libraries Catalogue to search our book collection and reserve books to borrow. I think looking at our collections tells you just how obsessive and passionate people can get about plants. It inspires them to create beautiful art, it inspires them to write books, it inspires them to devote their life to perfecting the art of gardening. And all of that is evidenced in our collections. Mm -hmm.